Thank you, Pastor Simon, for your investment in us this morning and uh, many years ago as well. Uh, this is an unusual day. It's not going to be the day I hoped it would be, but I do hope for us to enter into a short time of covenanting together with Eugene and Claire, with each other, and with the Lord. Ordinarily, we would gather the elders up here and we would pray over this couple uh, because this is not an ordinary day. We won't be able to do that today. But Eugene, I want to invite you. I, I know I said you could sit there, but I just don't think people can see you. So if you wouldn't mind just joining me on the platform, that would help me with my anxiety and loneliness. <laughs> Thank you, brother. I'm going to ask Eugene, uh, I'm going to read a scripture, then ask Eugene a series of questions at the end of which he will respond, hopefully with, I will, or by God's grace, I will, or let me ask Claire, one of, one of those three. <laughs> he, he asked if he could phone a friend. And then I'm going to ask us to stand, to join him in standing, and I will ask us five questions at the end of which we will respond, we will. And I'm gonna even ask those of you who are at home, I know none of us will know if you stand or not, but I'm gonna ask you, uh, God uh, in his sight, to stand and join us as we share this covenant together. So Eugene, uh, the elders, of GBC have unanimously affirmed God's sovereign work in your life and ministry. And the elders are with us today, and be, though we cannot stand up here together, I'm gonna to ask those of you who are elders to stand with Eugene and myself, wherever you are seated. Uh, we've asked them to remain as they are because we cannot uh, intermingle. There should be 11 or 12 of us. I'm gonna ask, also, Song Huat, will you stand with us because you have served with us as an elder as well, though he has now rotated off. He has been instrumental in encouraging and strengthening uh, Pastor Eugene as well. So Eugene, I'm going to borrow uh, the words of Peter and say this, I exhort you as a fellow elder, shepherd the flock of God that is among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly, as God would have you, not for shameful gain, but eagerly, not domineering over those in your charge, but by an, being an example to the flock. And when the chief shepherd comes, you will receive an unfading crown of glory. We say this scripture because we are reminded that you, God's gathered flock, belong to God, not to his shepherds. We are stewards of you, his treasure. So my brother, as the lead pastor of grace, you have been called of God to model submission to the authority of his word, to feed, guide, and protect his flock. And with this in mind, I'm going to ask you to respond to this covenant, five questions. Along with your fellow elders, do you accept the responsibility to fulfill this trust in obedience to Christ and his word? Do you commit to model the gospel in your own family, to lead them and his church out of a deep personal devotional life? And do you commit to a covenantal relationship with Claire that reflects the union of Christ and his church? Do you commit to the shepherding of God's flock in ways that help us fulfill our mission to disciple the nations for his glory? Will you be faithful in prayer and in the study of his word that you may serve out of the resources and wisdom of Christ? And finally, will you share with your fellow elders and pastors the wise stewardship of the Lord's treasure? And will you joyfully cultivate other godly elders who will join you to serve and expand God's kingdom in and through this church? I will. 
he will. Members and uh, friends, I'd like to invite you to stand with us as we also share in this covenant with our brother, his family, and our fellow elders. I'm gonna read this scripture taken from Hebrews 13. It reminds us to obey your leaders. I need to pause and let you recover from hearing that. That word leaders means those who show the way. We expect our elders not to be bosses, not to be kings, but to be leading by example and to submit to them. That Greek word literally means allow them to influence your heart. For they are keeping watch over your souls as those who will have to give an account. So let them do this with joy and not with groaning. For that would be of no advantage to you. So GBC, I would like you to join me in making this commitment together with your elders. Will you receive this messenger of the gospel sent by the Lord to serve us as our lead pastor? Will you pray for him? Will you help him and honor him in this enormous responsibility to care for God's gathered flock? Will you, in all your conversations, strive to live together in peace and unity in Christ? Will you commit to receive the word of truth from his ministry with open and responsive hearts and submit to his leadership as he, in mutual accountability to our elders and God's word, as he faithfully pursues his call to serve the gospel in this place. And finally, do you promise to love him and care for his family so that he might be strengthened in faithfulness and the joy of service? Congregation, your response? We will. By God's grace, we will. I want to invite you to remain standing as Elder Tian Chai comes and leads us in a prayer of dedication for this brother in Christ. Let us unite our hearts together as a church and offer this prayer of commitment unto the Lord, not only for Eugene, for everyone that is here or even online. Let us pray. Father, we want to thank you since day one of Grace Baptist Church that you have established. You are so faithful to provide servants who are faithful to your word in leading and teaching your sheep. Thank you, Father, for calling Eugene from the marketplace to be full-time minister of the gospel. Thank you through the leadership you have now called him to be the new lead teaching pastor for GBC. And we want to thank you that he wholeheartedly obey to that call. Father, continue to give Eugene a shepherding heart that is tender towards your sheep. We pray that he continue to be humbled before you and before men in the way he serve your sheep, in the way he serve your people. Pray, Father, that you will give him a heart of flesh that he's committed to teach, to lead according to thy word. Pray, Father, that he will, he will recognize his need to come before you for his daily portion, to immerse himself with your word, to let your words fill his mind, shape his heart, and guide his ministry. Father, we know that the road before him and his family will be long and winding. In moments of discouragement, difficulties, Father, I pray, and the church pray, he will remember the God Almighty, 
and he will come before you to be still and know that you are God who will not forsake him in any time, good and bad, only prosper him in his ministries that you have called him into. Thank you, Father, for providing him a family. Thank you for Claire in a faithful support in the labor of love with him all these years. And even the two children, Zach and Ian. Father, we pray that you watch over them. Protect them from the evil ones. Father, as for members of GBC, we want to come alongside in this prayer commitment that we ourselves are willing and available to come alongside him, not only in prayer, but in partnership with him in the gospel as a church. May we, work, may we speak to him words of encouragement and not discouragement. May we speak to him words of healing and not hurting. And Father, we recognize that this is not possible without doing it in thy spirit. So we ask for your spirit to empower us individually and as a church to go forth together with him to proclaim the gospel that you have given to each one of us. We want to recognize again, Father, we are sinners saved by grace. And so along the way, we will make many mistakes. We will fail, but you will never forsake us. You will lift us up as individual, as a church, and Father, we look forward to your fullness of blessing in days, months, and years to come that as we look back, we can say, thank you, Lord, for indeed, you are with us. Indeed, you enable us with the Spirit in each one of us. We thank you and we praise you in the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. And with this, we say, Amen.